Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today we are at the Norman course, the Greg Norman course at PGA West in La Quinta, California. This is a, a, a difficult course, but a ton of fun. And it's my favorite golf course probably anywhere in the world when you combine difficulty and hardness. This is my nephew, Jack, who, uh, Jack, how long have you been playing golf? Uh, I started when I was five, so long time. So what? That's my annoying brother who you'll see playing with us today, Dustin, a good golfer who uh, is, uh, I think, going to play well today. Let's get into it. Off to the first hole. Oh, actually, we're going to be playing the back nine, so off to the tenth hole. All right, this is it. This is the back nine of the Norman course at PGA West. The famous thing about this course that I uh, heard was everyone in this that's local to this area hates this course. They all think it's too hard as far as see all those little bushes out there. But the, uh, the local legend is that Greg Norman came out to open this course and played it from the blacks and shot 84. So, wow, it's the best uh, one you hit today. All trip. Huh? That all was trip. I don't know about all trip. That one you hit on that par five was pretty amazing. Oh yeah, that was good. That was a great shot that I hit, but I don't know if that's true, but it is definitely uh, a goal for you to reach for if you ever play this course. Try to, try to beat 84. I'm playing the blues, not the blacks, the but bush, still, it's it's still a good goal for anybody. Jack blocked it way to the right. Jack's my nephew from Virginia. That's the driving range. We're in bounds on this service road, and actually found Jack's ball. Yeah. Uh huh. So we got Jack a good line just by using this app. Oh, lost your footing a little bit. That should be fine though. They should be just short of the green. Hit it really solid. Bump it. Got it back in play. Jack is a uh, is a pretty good golfer, and he the the best part of Jack's game is he, he just really loves playing, and that's going to take him really far. Passion alone. That was one of my best wedge shots of the day. It was a little uh, Did you see it, Jack? a little out to the right. This whole trip, I was hitting the ball very solid, but my start lines with my irons were was real poor good putt there oh, thought it had a chance to go in but uh easy par there tap in for par so even after one and uh the front i had struggled at, on this course so in order to break that to shoot better than uh greg norman's famous 84 out here i was gonna have to shoot 41 or better Actually, I hit it dead solid, thought it was perfect, but actually I blocked it right into a bunker. Oh, uh, really good. Beautiful swing. Like this course? Yeah, it's nice. What, what, like tell it. me about it. So it's like pretty much no rough, it's just a lot of wastelands instead of the fairways, so. Yeah, and then bushes cool. you can go. Yeah, on. a lot of bushes. You can either get really lucky or unlucky, it just kind of depends on the balance. So you see that all look at all the bunkers on this hole and there's more that you can't see. I actually counted on the front on the tee box uh, looking at this hole there's 16 bunkers in this hole. And uh, here goes Jack. He uh, hit a great a great shot from the tee box and that was also a very good shot too. And I actually liked uh, putting the camera up that high it gave it a cool angle. He probably wasn't smart but I rolled all the way, I, I flew it and rolled all the way up to the top of this and came back. Otherwise, I probably would have rolled up right near the green. So I, all trip, I was giving myself these like 40 to 60 yard bunker shots that are really tough, but I actually thumped that one really nicely. I like the way the sand, the sand felt out here. So happy that I could putt that. So here, here we go. I just misread this green a little bit. You can see oh. that it's sloping towards uh, my brother and my nephew there and I did not read that well and I got quite a bit of work left to do that's my ball there right. here's Jack oh, for shot. birdie left it out to the right made a good par though it's funny when you're young how quickly you improve Jack became a, t a much better golfer just in the one week exactly that we the were same. there you know and I've stayed about you know exactly the same uh, so I made a bogey. I go to one over. Here's my brother Dustin. Beautiful drive, he hit Dustin. A, uh, better than the one he, on ten. Hit a really good drive there. He hit, he hit a good drive on ten too. He hit a really good drive there. Dustin is a great chipper, very good putter. Hits his iron straight. 
He has a very, he's very short off the tee though. He's uh, consistently like 30 yards behind me. Oh, and he loves to do chest bumps, so. I promised a slow motion chest bump for him of this, so. There you go. Oh, I got air. That's gonna be a slow-mo feature for sure. So I promised myself I'd slow-mo that, and there it is. Here's Jack. You can see his grip is a little strong. Beautiful. And he takes it back uh, very deep and, and Low runner. flat. But uh, I think uh, when Jack has, he's been, he just started playing Great tournaments, shot, and when he has some oh, time away from tournaments, uh, I think he's gonna kind of work on his grip. And uh, he's probably gonna play badly at first, but I think closer. all in all, a little weaker grip is gonna help him. So Dustin and I here are I can't really hit three with high debating three, about but I'm thinking, uh, what I should do, and this side, was definitely paralysis by analysis. All this talk was yeah, stupid. I, I should have just all right, I'll do that. got up there and banged it. Because this is a long hit, hole. How many yards is this hole? This is like a par five. 10. 5.30. So not super long, but it was into the wind a little bit. And now I have three wood here. And I want to hit it over that bunker you're looking at that I hit it straight at it, but... Your game plan goes completely out the window if you hit it fat. You know, you gotta. I hit it over that bunker. I said, "Nope, that was not over that bunker." Jack's young eyes are much better than mine. That was the truth. I was in the bunker and flew it into another bunker. So that was that was disappointing because this par five I really should have been attacking. I wasn't trying to hit it fat. Dustin's still talking to me about my uh, my second shot decision. Nice out. Made a uh, made a good sound and made an okay out, but kept rolling and rolling and rolling. These desert greens sometimes it, they're hard to tell. Sometimes they can be very fast, but sometimes um, in order to keep them from burning out, they have to keep them kind of soggy and they can get slow. So you really just have to read them the way they are. That wasn't a great putt. Dustin gave me that one. So bogey on this par five after hitting it about 290 off the tee or something which is annoying this is called shark bite this hole this is uh one of the toughest holes on the course it's a par three from the uh the blues which we were playing it's a hundred and this is 198 about because it was in the back of the green dustin hit it dead solid but he yanked it uh, if you guys have any tips about Dustin's swing, especially when it comes to, I mean, he hits it straight, but when it comes to distance, I was telling him that he was early extending, he was, and he said, well, you know, so what? Like, what does that do? So if anybody has an idea of why early extending is bad, I know it is. Let us know. That, uh, that was a great shot by me. I hit it really good. You can, my balance was not that great. It was a little flat-footed, but I hit it really solid about eight feet away from the hole. This is a beautiful hole, one of my favorite holes. Check it out. There's Jackie, missed the bunker. A little duffy, but it'll do. Oh, quite duffy. Good shot, Jack. <laughs> you know out. what Xander says. Yeah. That's a knee knocker. That's a knee knocker, Jack. Come on. Come on yeah, Jack kept a asking if that was good, if that was good. And That's a hell no. Oh, no. Come on. This is B better golf. We don't give a fuck. So my plan was to knock it away before oh, I even got to the hole, but it went all the way around and then. So Jack made a, a good up and down for par there. So here's my, uh, my putt for birdie here on Shark Bite, the 13th hole at the Norman course. Oh, yeah. Great putt. If I hadn't hit that with that kind of slow nice. pace, that would have lipped out. Got it back. Uh, you kind of open the hole up a little bit when you hit it slow. So all of these have, uh, all of these holes have like Australian feel, uh, Australian themed names. This is Bloomin'. This this hole, 415 yard par four, and I hit a <coughs> great drive there. One of my best of the day. All trip, I was hitting my driver really well. My putters, my putts well, and everything in between pretty poorly. So I just wanted to show the tempo of that and, and kind of how smooth that was in transition. And Dustin hit a great one there. That's a great drive, Dustin. Yeah, hit that You're hitting your driver good on this side. 
work. And there goes Jack. You can see how uh, supple he is. So then uh, I hit my approach shot with, I think I had a, a six iron. I tugged it left and uh, putted it from the fringe. But I actually, it, it, uh, it got pretty close. It's, it's further away from the hole than it looks from this angle. You'll see, see. I still have a good 11 feet. Here's Jack Ooh, for par. Good putt, Jack. Great good par, par for Jack. Great he par. made about a 14, 15 footer there for par. So uh, really good for Jack because he, uh, it was 386 from, from the tees he was playing. That's a great two putt. Thank you. Is that pars for everybody? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's hard hole. Pars for everybody. All right. Four to play. It looks like three right in a row. All right. This hole is called two legged dingo. And it is uh, 406 yards from the blues, uh, 431 from the black tees. And uh, this is. Uh, those bunkers, the little right of them. It's kind of confusing because yeah. it's so flat here and there's so many bunkers yeah, they're here. They're actually hitting their second. That sometimes it. It's hard to tell what's a greenside bunker and what's a fairway bunker, and it's very, very important. I think if you're coming out to a new, new course, go. especially one like this, that uh, an app will really help you decide where to hit it. And that was a great practice swing, but my real swing was uh, not nearly as good. You could see. Okay. Pretty supple, but it was across the line with an open face, kind of popped it up. Didn't really uh, get the distance out of it I would have liked, but stayed in the short grass. Here goes Dustin. You can see what good tempo he has. Completely opposite swings between Dustin and I in a lot of ways because he's a picker. Oh, gosh. It takes almost uh, no divot. Delightful. What'd you hit, five? He's got a tough shot from there. Uh, camera's out of focus here. And in, in contrast... I take these monster divots, which, uh, and with talking to Monty about this recently, you can see how much sand it takes just to fill that thing up. It's ridiculous. Uh, he said 95% of the time when you're taking those huge divots, it's because your head's going left on the way down or your head's going forward. So uh, I knew, I know that I need to work on my chipping and this or end pitching. And so really trying to hit this nicely. I just landed. It was an okay shot. I just landed at 15 feet past. The whole the problem with when your chipping Terrible. isn't good is that better. you're worried so much about your impact that you forget about your landing spot. So it's a uh, double-sided sword there. So here's a putt for par, and I missed it. Dustin gives me that bogey. And here's Dustin for par. Dustin and I are both left-hand low. We're trying to convince Jack to be left-hand low too. He pulled that one. That's uh, uncharacteristic there. Not how Dustin usually puts her, and not how he can score. Now. Dustin and I are about the same handicap, but he does it just in a, yeah, in a, so. a very different far. way than I do. If I could chip like Dustin, I'd be really good. And if Dustin could hit his driver oh, yeah, like me, he'd be really good. good. But everybody's got to play with the game that they have. Right, you're you gonna try to hit this one back to Long Beach? No, no. You trying to hit a bunt? Yeah, actually. See you choking out. Yeah. A little cut bunt. Why you try to hit a cut on a hole where the trouble's on the right? That doesn't. Oh. <laughs> no. Just because my miss is a snapper, and if I hit a cut, I, I'll eliminate that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounded great. Best one of the day. Good. Starting to find it here, you know. How many parts in a row you just make? Three in a row. Yesterday I didn't play that great. Shot 86, but. Shot 43 on the front and then made three in a row, so it's just starting to find the drivers. So hopefully we start shooting some more scores here. Yep. How many over are you on the back? I'm three over right now on the back. Jack had a double. I'm he's three yeah. over. I'm two over on the back. Oh yeah. Perfect shot, Jack. Good acceleration. Good swing. Yep. That's, That's it. Split the upright. Hopefully you can get a wedge in there close. 240 in. And to carry the water, 228 to carry the water. Our right, 240 in means it's 140 to the 100 yard marker. So it's a par five, so I'm just trying to lay up here. And this iron swing you're about to see was probably one of the best iron swings I made all trip. Okay takeaway, great tempo, and it was nicely shallow. It wasn't 
a gigantically, you know, um, huge tear of a divot. It was just, you know, a, a much nicer, shallower divot, a lot better. Dustin didn't hit a good shot here, but he's, he just blocked it out to the right. He's okay, though. He's not wet. Jack's 86 yards. Little left. Hit a good, hit a good one, but uh, pulled it just you a little bit. go off the back? On the green. Yeah, just a little long. All right, so no, Jack, you had how many? 90, so I have 86. Oh, Jack had 90, so here's 86 yards. Trying to hit a good, you can see my alignment isn't the best. Oh. Actually hit a good shot, I just hit it exactly where I was aiming. Less than 100 yards or whatever. That's a good There's shot. Jack putting from, he actually was, it was firm. a little long, good so shot. putting from the, uh, from the fringe there. Here's Justin chipping for birdie. So I, I keep telling you about Dustin's chipping. He's like one of the best chippers I've seen that was great play technique, golf as Dustin. far as amateurs. Why didn't that turn? That so I just wanted to technique. show you guys his technique in slow motion here. A little bit of a strong, stronger grip on his chips than with his regular uh, iron swing. And he just keeps everything very firm, very I much like a, a Steve Stricker style. I could um, learn yeah, a lot from chipping more like the way he does. So here's me for birdie and it broke a lot towards the water. And you could see because I putted that from the fringe, it hopped up in the air and it was really uh, hard to get a line on it. So Jack bogeys there after uh, effectively three putting from the fringe. And here's my putt for par. Good par, thank you. Grinded that you. one. Around, that one. <laughs> Bud six. So this is cool. This hole is cool. I did that pan because you can see when Greg Norman designed this hole, and there, there's the uh, green. He he put these big mounds of dirt all the way around it, so you can't see really any other hole here. So it makes it very cool. Oh jeez, that's terrible. Dustin hit a bad shot there, which came up right and well short of the green. He has about a 40-yard pitch from there, maybe 45-yard pitch from there. It wasn't very good, and. Uh, Seven. Yeah. I have seven iron here. I felt pretty good about it. My alignment is pretty good and everything, but I sucked it in ah! so much on the backswing that Get got aiming over to the right, and I tried to save it, and I hit a snapper that came up just barely oh, yeah. over the water, still technically in the hazard, but sitting on grass. So you can see I'm, I'm in the hazard, but I'm not in the water. So I uh, took a muddy piece of ground out, of, out there. When I hit it and actually hit a pretty nice shot, gave myself a chance for for par here. Here's Dustin after pitching from like 40 yards for his par, and that's more like him. He had a great putt. And here's me for par. I'm two over, but I missed that one, so now I go to three over. So that's too bad because uh, that really that inside takeaway I'm gonna have to fix. Dustin hit a terrible drive there. And uh, it went left of left, and uh, actually he lost that ball. And then my turn. I hit a great drive here. This is one of my best drives of the day. That was a really good one. So it's funny when I use the that that you can see that plug on the end of my driver. That's for this this Arco's driver system. Good shot. That system tells me I'm like a plus three handicap with my driver alone, but. Not with uh, anything else. Great shot. Beauty. This is the 18th fairway of this course, and this is one of the reasons that I love this course. It is just absolutely stunning everywhere you look. And see those giant mounds there? It makes you feel like you're in this kind of like Pine Valley or something where each hole is totally on its own. Like I don't, you don't see most of this course. You don't see any other holes. I mean, there's the hole up there. There's Jack. Up, oh, no, uh, going you left. You can see Jack uh, left at the beginning of this trip, which was Seven. what when we filmed this. This uh, Jack was hitting a lot of hooks, and he kind of figured it out by the end. You can see I'm hitting it solid, I'm just, my start lines are really bad. Trap queen, Jack DeVore. There's a ton of bunkers on this course.
Yeah, 11 feet. All right, so here I'm, I'm chipping, and I really want to hit a good chip here because I get a constant grief from my nephew about my chipping. Sit. Oh, good chip there. Oh, not bad. Yeah, it was looking like it was going to be really good, but could maybe use new wedges. This is for 39, so I'm safe of at least beating uh, Greg's, Greg's no, score as the first round on this course. Small consolation there for shooting, not a very good score, but man, what an awesome course. I recommend it to anybody who's out there. Pretty good, pretty good. Great golf course. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Great golf course, really recommend it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be playing. We'll be playing more rounds out here, more videotape rounds too, so hit that subscribe button, and uh, see, you next time. see you next time. Bye.